What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on Forza Horizon 5. Today I'm here with the 8.6 and I am going to turn myself into the legendary uh, Takumi. So I'm going to go ahead and use this thing. Obviously I'm going to modify it and do the best I can to get this thing to also get sideways but you know at a nice nice speed you know just doing uh, you know a, just a little bit of slip just so I can be fast around corners. Anyway regardless I'm going to be building this thing to be very similar to the car that's in the actual movies and the show itself. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do in today's video. Plus, I have a, a sick, long road to test it out on, which is great. I love that in this game, that this this bit of road that's on the... For some reason, Takumi's in Mexico. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> there's, this, there's this long road here that I can test this thing out on. I can take it sideways. I can just drive it really quickly. So, that's pretty much what I'm going to be building this 864. In, uh, in today's video. So I have a list of specs on my other monitor. Uh, I've done this before when I was playing um, Horizon 4 and I've done a, a a whole build like this and I managed to get this thing to be really, really quick and it was really, really fun to drive. So what I wanted to do now is I wanted to go ahead and uh, do the same thing. But now in this game we have better sounds, the cars handle slightly differently and... This should be kind of fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. It should be kind of fun. I'm gonna build this thing so it's spec still with the 4A GE that's in it now. Um, but uh, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, get it to be lighter and have the cage and all that sort of stuff. So it's probably just gonna be a mix of upgrades for this thing. Uh, also visually I'm gonna be changing this car and I still have to put the actual stickers on the side of it. So there's a lot of different engines available for this thing. Uh, which I'm not going to do any of them. I'm not going to even turbo it. I'm not going to supercharge it. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, but again, there's a lot of different parts for this thing. Uh, again, I'm probably just going to do this. Oh, no, it's this one. Which is literally just the fog lights. And I'm pretty sure that is the only uh, option available or that I should be uh, adding onto this car. Why Why do we only have this wing? Or, or this little spoiler? Why don't we have the, the proper, the big one? That's annoying. That is quite annoying. This exhaust is also much bigger. Than the one that's in the movie. Um, again, Origin Lab stuff is pretty similar. I think it's pretty much the same as the the previous games when it comes in terms of like customization for this thing. Um, as for the wheels, I mean, I know we have a bunch of different options for wheels here, but I think these ones here. Let me get to them really quick. These are probably the closest ones to the what not be wheels or what not be style wheels that there are in the show and the movie. So I'm gonna put those on. Uh, Tires, 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 tires. What sort of tires does this thing have? Again, I need to have a look here. I'm pretty sure it's still on like street tires or like sports tires, for example. I don't really think that this is on like anything crazy when it comes to when, when it comes to tires. So I'm probably just gonna go with something like street tires or sports tires on this thing. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna keep them completely stock. I think street tires will probably be the best for this guy. Let's just have a look here. Um, let's see what it says on this page. I'm just gonna keep it on street tires. I, it's not gonna be much faster than what it is now, so it's probably just gonna be left like that. And when it comes to clutch and stuff like that, it's still on the five-speed manual. It's still the standard one. I'm gonna keep that pretty much the same. I'm not gonna change anything like that. I think it still has a a mechanical limited slip diff, so I'm gonna probably leave that alone as well. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna leave everything else the same except for the weight. Now, like I did say, I want to do sort of like a mix between, obviously, the Project D version of the car, which has a completely different engine, to the one that's in this car specifically, like, you know, the, the original one. Uh, obviously, the Project D one makes 240 horsepower. It's also, uh, it's pretty much a TRD racing engine. So, I don't really, like, I can probably do that. It'll make it kind of interesting, but I think it'd be kind of nice to just bring this thing maybe somewhere in the middle or like i don't know because the stock engine only makes 150 horsepower right so we're pretty much stuck there i do also want to put a cage in it because i think it'll look nice and uh, nice and clean here also the project d version of this car also weighs 880 kilos so i kind of am a little tempted to do some changes there the only thing with that now is that i think uh there's suspension upgrades and stuff like that that were done to the car to be able to, to do all that sort of stuff so i'm kind of tempted to just not do that or if I do, I'm probably just going to put, like, sports suspension on it. How about that? Like I said, I want to do sort of, like, a mix between both of these. So, uh, so we'll see. And uh, definitely want to go to my cams. Because I want to get this thing to rev as high as it possibly can. Again, it's a racing engine. So, it'll be kind of nice. I'm going to upgrade its uh, its exhaust as well to race exhaust. Wait, this is going to sound so much different, right? A 
lot of popping. Oh, there we go. Let's fix itself. That sounds really good. Okay, I'm definitely putting that on. Uh, aftermarket airbox. Different intake. Nice. Uh, what else am I going to change on this thing? Uh, probably pistons, right? Should I do pistons? Maybe. Brings it to 224 horsepower. Again, this is a racing engine, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably just build this like this. I feel like it just, it just be stupid if I don't, because I feel like it'd just be so much better if I just do this. So, 250 horsepower. We'll just keep it like that. We'll see what that's like. It's all street tires as well. Again, like I said, um, the car is supposed to weigh. 880 kilos now, so let's just have a look at what sort of changes I can do here. So again, I changed this to sport suspension. Uh, if I change this to sport, will it go down the ARBs? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that as well. Uh, and then I think the last thing I can probably do, actually, slightly better brakes as well. We kind of need those, so we'll do sports brakes on that as well. And now, again, 880 kilos, 886. That could be quite good. That's very, very close. I don't think I can change anything else on this thing, right? Maybe driveline. I could probably change that to get it to be a little lighter. It's definitely not carbon fiber. Uh, maybe sports driveline. Let, yeah, there we go. Let's just do that. We'll do that and then just drive it like this. So it's close enough, I think, to the actual car that's in the, the series. And it's the Project D version of this car. Again, it has a completely different engine. And this thing revs up to 11,000 RPM at 240 horsepower. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a handful. I'll, I'll guarantee that. So um, wait, I, did I even check the actual specs of this thing? So I got it to 250 horsepower by accident instead of uh, 240. So I'm gonna go ahead and change some stuff back. So we do that. Okay, there we go. For some reason, I randomly thought that it was this was gonna be 250 horsepower, but it's not. It's 240. I just checked to my screen again. Ooh, so technically I should have been putting the sports software, but I can't really like pick and choose which which part I want and which part I don't want on it. You know. So I can't really do much there. Again, a roll cage and and everything. It's on 195.15 tires, so I could probably change that so I can have a little bit more grip um, as well. Again, all this, the the bits that are on this page are just so like all over the place. Um, so again, one it's on 195. Yeah, 195.15s. So I need to change these the wheel size now to uh, 15s on the front and the rear. So we'll do that. And then if I go, that's the wrong thing. If I go to this, it'll be 195s, 5015s. And it's on uh, it's on sports tires. It's got a gearbox. It has a 4.778 final drive when it comes to the transmission. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this. Uh, I'm going to go to the transmission. And I'm going to change it to the final drive ratio. Unlocking one, so we'll do that. And then... For the thing, it also has a two-way LSD, so I can probably actually buy that as well. Um, so I can do racing diff, two-way LSD. There we go. Now, 888 kilos, even though it weighs 880, so I can probably get it to be a little lighter, right, if I do that? So let me try to see if I can do anything else here. Okay, I'm going to upgrade the flywheel as well. This will make it lighter. Again, it's it's a racing car, so it's going to have racing parts on uh, anywhere near the engine. Like, so... Should be fine, it should make it a little bit lighter. So 885 is pretty much what we ended up with. Um, five kilos should be not that much of a difference. Right, so now uh, that that is out of the way, this is a 4.778, like I said, final drive. I'll have to mess around with the... Uh, so we'll do 4.78, we'll just do that. <laughs> top speed, 135 miles an hour. So not the best for top speed, but this is supposed to be very quick downhill and at accelerating, so we'll see what that's like. And then, when it comes to the diff as well, I need to change that and adjust that a little bit as well. Um, okay. I think we're pretty much done with what we have here. We'll have a look and see what this diff is like as well for what I'm trying to get this thing to do, which is technically to slide a little bit, uh, but not to have it fully drift. And now, when we come to the designs, we need to have the classic. El Clasico. Right? El Clasico design. Let's just have a look and see exactly where this paint is put on. Again, the wheels need to be black. The bonnet needs to be black as well. So let's put that on to see if it's changed anything on it. It should, hopefully, now have it so it's the same. And the, the bonnet is actually carbon fiber. It's not actually black. So uh, let's just have a look. So it hasn't really changed anything. It just sort of put the design on the side. So this is a pretty dead, <laughs> pretty dead design on this. They haven't fully finished it. This one, though, looks a little bit 
cleaner and a little bit more like it. So let's let's download this really quick. Let's put this on. I'm pretty sure the bonnet is green on this one. And I'm pretty sure the green one is on uh, uh, the DK's car, which is Keiichi's uh, H6. He has the green carbon fiber uh, bonnet on it. Is this green? Okay, it's not green. I thought it looked green there in the picture for a second. But this is it. This is pretty much what this is supposed to look like. Ah, it's sick. That is so cool. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's go drive this thing. That's the one thing I've been excited for the entire time I've been recording this video is actually driving this guy. Like, seeing what it's like. Okay, I went back and I tried to, to change some stuff here. So, uh, again, this thing making 240 horsepower. It does have throttle bodies as well, which is what I just realized before I... Just before I exited. So, I'm going to go ahead and change some stuff. And get this thing to, again, be as close as it's supposed to be to its... Uh, to its, uh, to its actual power figure here, which is, again, um, 240 horsepower. So, uh, I could probably do this for pistons, and then I can do that for that. Oh, there we go. 240 horsepower. 239 newton meters of torque. I don't know how close that is to the actual torque figure that the car actually has. But, yeah. Um, okay, now it's finished. 882 kilos, 240 horsepower, and it's all pretty much done. Now, I wanted to, obviously, have one final look before... Uh, before I take this thing out, so it's done. It is finally finished. It even has a reg, it has everything on it. So this should be fine. Alright. What? Why is it only rev up to 9,000? That's weird. Why am I not able to rev my engine out to 12,000 RPM? <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. I mean, it accelerates quickly. I feel like the grip is there. That's quite good. I like the brakes. The tires are a bit questionable. Okay. We need to take this downhill. I have to get this thing to drive as fast as possible downhill. I'm gonna have a look to see what the diff is like as well on this thing. I haven't touched it at all, so we'll see. We'll see how I need to adjust this thing for what I need it to do. Alright, let's go. Downhill specialist right here. Oh, I kind of like this diff actually. This this setup is pretty nice. Not a ton of counter steering either. Like I just sort of put myself in a corner and just accelerate. Nice. Oh, it feels really solid. I legitimately use throttle most of the way down. Very, very slight counter steering. Just at the end. Also, I'm just staking one of my wheels just off the road. Oh, it's so nice. Wait, I should turn off ABS as well just to make this even more realistic. So let me do that. Uh, turn that off. Okay, brilliant. Everything is off. Nice. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. I love it. It grips really, really well. Which is very weird. Because at the beginning, when I first started taking the... Well, I mean, it was on a cobbled road, actually, so I should... So let me do this, because I don't want to have the thing... Pretty much constantly, like, clicking in my ear as I'm going downhill in this... In this drift zone, you know? Uh-oh. I'm about to send hack me into the forest. Alright. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't realize I'd slow down that much. Okay. What's the interior like? Okay, okay. Oh god. Okay. Wow. I'm not used to driving this thing like that. <laughs> Wait, let me go back on the outside. Oh god. I should really turn down the, the sensitivity as well for <laughs> my head movement when it comes to, to driving this, this thing. I mean, it's fine for when I'm drifting, but when I'm actually trying to go quickly 
It's kind of annoying when my head starts moving. Oh my god, that is so clean. Look at it, I'm just sort of flooring it. I'm literally using power to go around these corners. I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing with this car. I didn't even tune this thing properly, I haven't touched most of it. Oh my god, there's actually no way this is so clean to drive. If you want to have literally the exact same upgrades and everything, I'm going to put a share code up on the screen with this car so you can download it and just everything should be pretty much identical to what my car is right now. All you have to do is just download the design for it. I'm going too fast here, but it's fine. He abused his 8.6, I'm going to abuse it as well. Oh, I love it! It's so good! Oh my god. <laughs> Was that inertia drifting? No way. Absolute skillage in the village, boys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, the gutter! I missed it! Okay, is there another... There has to be. There's the gutter. Oh, I'm going too fast, I'm going too fast. Please be one on the inside. There actually isn't one. There's no way. I completely missed the gutter. I'm so disappointed in myself. I'm gonna quit the game. I'm never playing this game again. I can't believe I missed the gutter. There was literally a gutter right there at the top. That's mad. Alright. And even if you want to take it sideways, it just does it. I love the setup. It's so nice. It's really, really nice. 8.6 everyone. The initial D86. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you subscribe. Like the video as well. And uh, share it and do whatever it is you guys want to do. And also, oh yeah, well, gutter. Haha. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, anyway, um, if you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Plus, like I said, if you want to download this guy, there was a share code. Put it back in the video where you guys can click it and download it. Or not click it, but like copy it and download it. But that's pretty much it. Again, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Initial D86. Very, very fun, especially with the spec that it is at now. Very fun to drive down the hill.